Hey, 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 what's up? My name is Chloe and I am here with Build Your Path, helping to educate and innovate. Educate and innovate about what, you may ask? Why the built environment industry, of course? You probably don't know that there are literally millions of open jobs in the built environment industry. All kinds of jobs from general labor to jobs needing advanced degrees. The industry is in dire need of more people and there's a place for you. Hence the creation of Build Your Path video. We want you to know about all the opportunities in the built environment. But wait, what the heck is the built environment industry? Well, it's a big industry that covers platforms such as design, engineering, horizontal and vertical construction, maintenance, urban planning, real estate development, and many more. <coughs> Anywho, within those platforms are a plethora of industry careers like architect, boiler maker, building inspector, carpenter, cement and concrete finisher, civil engineer, construction manager, electrician, equipment operator, elevator mechanic, environmental engineer, estimator, flooring installer, glazier, HVAC technician, insulators, interior designer, iron worker, landscape architect, landscaper, line installer, mason, mechanical engineer, millwright, painter, plumber, pipe fitter, real estate development, roofer, safety manager, sheet metal worker, steam fitter, surveyor, urban planner, virtual designer, and welder. Oh. Okay, moving on. So, what exactly is the built environment? Well, the boring and technical definition would be everything in our civilization put in place by humankind to allow for life as we know it to occur. Okay, basically it covers everything from infrastructure to buildings to houses and so on and so forth. If you got up this morning, brushed your teeth, got to work or school by car, bus, or the subway, shopped for groceries, cooked some dinner, played a pickup game of basketball, and then went to bed, you used the built environment all day long and didn't even know it. Oh, and if you happen to be watching this on a smartphone, built environment. Oh, hold on a second. Hello? Yeah, sure. It's for you. It's opportunity calling. Remember this bad guy? I don't have to read this down, right? Okay, well, there are a lot of careers listed for a reason. Because guess what, bucko? There are endless career opportunities within this one industry. These jobs make up the beginning, middle, and end stages of a construction project. People such as architects and engineers work towards the beginning stages to prepare plans and designs. Construction managers and skilled trades jobs such as electricians, HVAC mechanics, and plumbers work in the middle stages to ensure the project is completed correctly on time and in budget, followed by the building inspectors and maintenance personnel who help keep a building up post-construction. All in all, these career paths offer rewarding salaries, benefits, and growth potential. So now you may be asking yourself, how do I get in on the action? Now the question becomes, how do you get from where you are now into a built environment career? Well, it really depends on your interests. Do you like to work with your hands? Like to work at a desk? Are you artsy? Are you a number cruncher? What is wonderful about the built environment is that you can start doing one thing and take those skills to many different positions. Don't worry though. We will have detailed career videos that will go over the best ways to get started. But for now, here are the general options. Nearly every career within the built environment industry requires a high school diploma or equivalent certificate, with further education being highly recommended. However, there are a number of careers where a high school diploma is all that is necessary. Some of these high-skilled, well-paying jobs include equipment operators, painters, and flooring installers. Many high schools offer the opportunity to receive NCCER certifications. NCCER, or the National Center for Construction Education and Research, created a standardized training and credentialing program for the built environment industry. NCCER has over 70 certifications that are industry recognized nationwide. This industry also needs individuals who have earned an associate's or bachelor's degree. Many industry professionals earn these degrees immediately following high school or later down the line when they want to push their career to the next level. Some careers that would require a college degree include architects, engineers, planners, and construction managers. 
An apprenticeship is a combination of on-the-job training and classroom training. Students will be paid for their work while on the job and will learn under masters in the trade. Depending on the program, apprenticeships usually last for three to five years, and students graduate as journeymen. Some careers that require an apprenticeship include electricians, plumbers, and HVAC technicians. Oh, and I almost forgot! There are also jobs that are not traditionally talked about as being part of the built environment industry. For instance, nearly every construction company has a marketing team that needs to have wide knowledge of the industry. That marketing team would include graphic designers, sale personnel, social media specialists, and more. Construction companies also need financial advisors, accountants, and legal specialists. While education requirements vary throughout the industry, general knowledge of a few key concepts is extremely important. When completing a project, no matter your role, you should be aware of what the other groups on the project are doing. This is called complete building knowledge. All the moving parts from the architects and engineers to the plumbers and electricians need to think about what else is happening on the job site. If they don't, then the project could crumble. Literally. It's also important to have problem-solving skills. Regardless of the career path, being able to handle stress and solve problems is crucial when working on a tight timeline and budget. These careers also need basic math skills. I know, not a fan favorite these days. Finally, nearly every career path needs to have at least a basic knowledge of building plan reading as well as the terminology that goes with it. No matter what, these are serious jobs for serious people. You gotta love it, you have to show up on time, and be ready mentally and physically. This industry naturally comes with a physically demanding environment. Sure, some of the careers are more physically demanding than others, but nearly every career will find themselves on a construction site at some point. This means that you may find yourself in a variety of weather conditions, so if you're not a fan of working outside, then this may not be the career path for you. Oh, and you may also find yourself lifting large objects, working in small and cramped spaces, or having to deal with height. So if you were making this face throughout anything I just mentioned, Again, this may not be the career path for you. But if you were making this face through everything I just mentioned, then great, keep on listening because there are still a few more skills and traits involved with this career, such as communication. Communication is key. Reading and writing, my friends, there's a reason they teach you that in school. Written, verbal, electronic, and presentations are huge parts of the business and will ultimately make a workplace environment easier. Most employers need employees who can communicate effectively, not only with their coworkers, but with customers and the other moving parts of the job site. In addition, construction job sites also usually start work early in the morning. This means employers need employees who can get to a job site on time and ready to work. The perk of this is workers who start early get off work much earlier in the day. But if you struggle to wake up early in the morning, like myself, then maybe being on a job site is it for you? Another specific and important skill is spatial reasoning. If an individual has good spatial reasoning, then they can picture images as they would look as three-dimensional objects. While all of these traits and skills are important, safety and reliability are crucial. Passing a drug test and having reliable transportation can ensure that you are a safe and reliable employee. The stereotype of the built environment industry is that it is not progressive and has been operating the same dusty old way for the past 100 years. But this dusty old industry has been rapidly adapting to new technology, using it to better the industry and increase productivity. These technologies include drones, 3D computer modeling, 3D printing, robots, virtual reality, and smart equipment that help with safety. Only 9% of the workers in the construction industry are women. 9%! While the built environment industry, and many other industries for that matter, is not generally thought about as an industry for women, that is quickly changing. Women bring a fresh perspective to the industry and are highly needed in all lines of work. So moral of the story is, we need diversity, we need more women, and we need to help break this stupid glass ceiling. So, why did I just spend 
minutes of my life explaining and educating you nerds about the built environment industry. Because newsflash, the industry needs people of varying skill sets. The built environment industry isn't going anywhere because there is always something happening from new construction to renovations to historic preservation. Therefore, talented, hardworking professionals are always needed. We need you. Really, we do. So like, what are you waiting for? Check out the rest of our videos to learn more about individual careers and industry-wide topics. Until next time.